Timu tools are dirt cheap and they'll ship directly to your house. They might take a while, but are they any good? We're gonna find out today. I'm gonna run through the standard tests that you see everybody doing on the internet. Speed, torque, battery life, and durability. But for durability, I'm taking this to a whole new level. I'm not gonna tease you too much with it, but we're gonna get squirrely. So let's get right into it. So here's what we're gonna be working with today. We've got a bunch of drills and, no, we don't got a bunch. We've got two drills and two impact drivers from the Javin line of tools sold by Timu. We've got the full size, these are 20 volt tools. These are both full size. And then these are both 16 volt tools. We unboxed these suckers and did a little bit of a test, but we're gonna take this to a whole nother level. I gotta say, they feel cheap as hell. But we do know that they perform kind of unexpectedly based on our last video and our last go around. So I'm pretty excited to get into this. The 16 volt batteries, I have absolutely no clue how many amp hours they are. So we're just gonna go with it here. We've got a two amp hour battery on, on this sucker and a four amp hour 20 volt on this sucker. So everything's fully charged and ready to rock and roll. So let's dive right in to the speed test. First up in the speed test, we've got the 20 volt Javin that looks identical to this 18 volt Kia. It's like the unathletic chubby older brother. Now we know this is one of the faster drivers on the market, super popular. Tons of influencers are constantly running a test with this sucker here. We've got full battery charges. They're both on uh, what do we got here? That one's on a four. We've got a full charge and this one's probably not even full. Don't care, but I've got a feeling here. We're gonna be driving these eight inch uh, construction fasteners. They are, I think it's like a T15, T40. It's a big old bit. Should be able to get a good grip. And we're gonna be running those into this random pine beam that I happen to have laying around the shop. My adversary is the notorious Sampula and we'll be racing right hand versus right hand. Money on the table, wagers out, people. Let's go. First problem I have here, people. I hate an impact driver doesn't have an automatic lock. Oh, it just drives me nuts. Let's get these suckers even. Was that serious? And hey, we're pretty good. We're going three bouts. If you slip, you lose. And if you lose, you die. And you know what's gonna be on your tombstone? Loser. All right, no. I'm willing to. <laughs> okay, you gotta count us down, Joe. We're going on the, on the go. Yep, three, two, one. What? I just said we're going on the go. Ah, geez, now I feel like I gotta restart. You didn't even say go. Hold on, mulligan. Oh my gosh. Absolute shot can you say, mulligan. Can you, can you say go this time? Three, two, one, go. That's right, I said go. You didn't say go. I did. All right. Go to the footage. Challenging the ruling on the field. Pulling the footage. Oh, look at that desk. <laughs> Damn, son. Oh, you got two screens now. You're not that dumb anymore, huh? He, no one said go. This man is losing his listen, mind. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. What? Dude, dude, you that, really hear go. that would not hold up in a court of law. Let's get back to the drill. The tape is what the tape is. You tell us. Now, on the go, please be a little more vocal behind okay. the camera if you could for us. Okay. Shall we? Three, two, one, go. Come on! No, it's, a, I mean, it is a night and day. <laughs> I, this, <laughs> I was just gonna crawl on top of it. This thing just, it just feels soft. It's like, like it, there's nothing to it, right? All right, let's see if the 18 volt Makita can beat the jabbing. On the go. Three, two, one, go. Come on! It got me again. That is miserable driving that in there. Absolutely miserable. Can it, do you think it can beat a 12 volt impact? I think it depends on the brand. I, I think it could beat a 12 volt. I, I do think it will be a 12 volt. Let's see, do I have a 12 volt? Not worth the fine Javin name. Could be the death. It's exact width <laughs> of this. We're just driving it straight into the table. That's why it's a workbench. On the go, come on, Je hold on, hold on. We're, we're still at full battery and he's got a, Two bars. Two bars on a 12 volt mini driver. Come on, Javin. Three, two, one, go. Finally! 
dude, it didn't have it until it got into the meat and yeah. got rid of the threat. Unbelievable. Bar off the battery. It took a whole bar. Yeah. I mean, is it the worst impact driver I've ever done a speed test on? I don't know. It's definitely not up there with the name brand stuff. Up next, we've got the 18 volt Javin Blue drill. We've got it on three setting, whatever the hell that means here. High, full battery. Sam's the same thing, I guess. He's on high, full battery. On the go, buddy. This might be pretty even. You ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> They both died out. That's crazy. So a lot of drills will have a clutch stop on them. So you don't snap your wrist, but like that thing's barely in there. <laughs> I feel like we need like one of those like giant drills with like the side handles though. Well, that's why you see a lot of impact drivers on yeah. this. For the speed test, do we want to go to little bitch screws again? We already did that. What if we had two drill bits ever you bore into it fastest? Ooh, we're changing the speed test to a boring test. Boring! With paddle bits. That, that would work. I mean, I guess if we put a spade bit and a drill, we're gonna fight it the whole way, but I'm down for it. Wait, do we, what else are we gonna use? Like a, I, you know, let's do the paddle bit. Uh, my guy, go grab him. <laughs> I don't know if we have two of the same, do they have to be the same size? Yes. You want the Diablo or the Ooh. Nameless Blue brand? The Nameless Blue brand is Bosch, your favorite. Bosch Daredevil, max RPM 1500. That one's been through some drywall. Okay, let's see. One and an eighth paddle bits. What are we going just till they stop? Yes, sir. First tip to pop through, Victor. No wonder these tool channels like exist. This is way more fun than building shit. <laughs> get back to building stuff, Chris. <laughs> this thing, it doesn't even want to turn on. Let's try to get in some like straight grain right here. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Go. <sighs> Come on, there you go. She's winning, she's nearly through. Oh my God. Sure you're on the other side to see a poke. We're just about there. Am I completely using these improperly? Is everyone gonna be upset? Nope. Real real big boy drill then, I guess. Okay. Well. Speed test win goes to Walt, who wasn't competing. All right, we are in the metal shop at my metal table because it has holes in it and we can put some lug nuts on it and then torque those to specific torques and then test these things just like they did on Donut Media. I am 100% ripping that off. Love you, Donut. So come around here and I'll show you. We're gonna start off with a little Javin, just like Donut did, and we're gonna go with 10, 20, 30, and 40 foot pounds of torque. What's interesting though is that this, running forward, continues to run. Running backwards does not. I don't know if it needs to have torque on it in order for it to continue to go backwards or if we've got to change some settings or something. <laughs> but I don't think we're in for a very good test here. And then we're also gonna test the bigger guy too after that. So we'll start out here with the 10. I'm gonna get a stopwatch out, see how long this takes. All right, you ready, Sam? I'm ready to go. Ready, set, go. Not bad. Okay. Nothing. Can't bust the 40. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, after I did the 30, I was like, this thing, this thing's ripping. And you do have to have it on with some sort of resistance in order for it to come off. All right, let's test this versus the, uh, the little 12 volt. It's, it's gonna smoke that little 12 volt. All right, we've got the 12 volt DeWalt impact driver now. Let's see if it's faster. Set, go. Nope, I ain't gonna do it either. I think it was faster or just as fast though as this 16 volt through the 30. I just can't believe that they can't bust the 40. See, I don't know anything about torque ratings, but Sam said that like the 40 is pretty low. So I think what we're gonna do is test the full size Javin and see how fast that is. Cause it should definitely be able to bust the 40. Ready, set, here we go. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. You might, might have to bump it up some more. Yeah, why did you put them on such <laughs> cake setting? That was what Donut did, 10, 20, 30, and 40. Wow. So it was like eight seconds, this thing absolutely ripped through it, which I didn't know was expected because those struggled. So I think we should crank them up to 50, 60, 70, and 80, and then see how fast or if it can bust them off at all. We'll just keep going until this thing fails. 
Okay, Sam doesn't think this thing will crack a 70. Um, he was saying that like a normal lug nut, it's like 120. Somewhere around there. On like a regular car. I don't know shit about shit. I don't know shit about He says his uh, Bosch Freak struggles with that. We do have uh, like an actual like um, impact gun for this stuff. Oh boy. He's flexing every muscle in his body to get this torque down to 50. How are you gonna get it to 70? Do you need daddy? No, good. It just well, keeps turning. I'm just, it's not clicking. That's a horrible sign to be snapped the fing head. <laughs> so we don't have nuts rated for it. There's definitely, are you sure you were at 50 and not like 150? Yeah, you sure are. This is Taiwanese. So we were trying to torque these down and it didn't work because we have little sissy furniture grade uh, bolts for the junk that we do here. So we're gonna actually go out to Sam's 1990 uh, Ford Ranger and torque the, I actually have no idea what year it is. We're gonna go out to his truck and we're gonna torque his lugs to 50, 60, 70, and 80 and start there and see if we can bust them off with the Javin. Those are literally less than like a month old. <laughs> Bro, did you buy them used? Those are adult tires. Those are all season. Those knobby ones you have will wear down in like 5,000 miles. He said they're brand new. How did it pass inspection? Um, I've seen worse things on the road than this. <laughs> oh yeah, def he ain't wrong there. Grab the top of it and just push. Jeez, yeah. a little TLC. This? Oh, easy now. <laughs> Pull up, what are you, should we build him a wooden truck bed? <laughs> is this even a real truck? You think I could toss this thing over? I mean, I drive an electric truck. So we've got 50, 60, 70, and 80. Sam doesn't think it'll crack the 70, and he, he actually said he would bet the truck to a subscriber that it doesn't crack the 70. I have no idea what's going on, so I'm just gonna run the test because I don't know what any of that means. Let's give it a shot at 50. Are you ready? Yeah, nothing. 60 cake. I'm gonna actually Maybe. snug these back on. Maybe the end of the Ranger. <laughs> oh! Ow! Ow! <laughs> he goes, ow! What hell? Jabbing for the 80! <laughs> you suck! Someone's taking home this glorious piece of, you gotta come pick it up though because they will not allow us to ship it across state lines. It is borderline illegal. Should we crank it up to 90? <laughs> Hunter? Yeah. I could do that one at 90 if you want. I mean, I guess we gotta go till it fails. We gotta see when it fails. All right, we are now at 90, 100 and 110 foot pounds of torque. 90! Here we go. Oh! <laughs> this thing is surprising everyone. Still on full battery yeah, somehow. I don't know. All right, this one, that didn't feel great. So this one might not work. 100! You sure that was 100? You're positive. I'm that was easier than the 90. 110. I, dude, there's no way, no way. This is blowing my mind too. I didn't think we were gonna get up close to like, cause you're right, regular impacts usually struggle at like. I mean, we could take it up to, uh, I max this thing out a buck 50. So 120, 30, 40. And after that, we can max out the pork range. My goodness. This thing surprising all of us. We're gonna go up to 150 for shits and gigs. I don't know, like a, leave a comment down below. Is that like good? I think it's good. I, I remember trying to use my DeWalt to take the lugs off my truck and it couldn't do it. We had to get like the actual gun. We're gonna get a lot of blame on the wrench, just so you know. A lot of blame. What was that? 130. I just go right to 150. 130, 150. I'm just gonna do 140 and 150. Just there's I mean there's no fucking way. There's you didn't think it was do 70. All right, so 120, 130, 40, 50. Before I do any of this, I must preface: wear your safety eyewear just in case something gets squirrely. And if you don't have any safety eyewear, grab yourself some shop shades because these are the absolute most comfortable and best eyewear you'll ever wear. I promise. We're still on pre-sale for a short time. You can grab them up. Save yourself a couple bucks. All right, 120. Here we go. Believe it. <laughs> 30, 130. It cracked. Oh my goodness. 140. Go grab the DeWalt. Stop. Nope. It got big. <laughs> it got big. <laughs> I, oh man. And 150. Dude, it did. I, I, unbelievable. I would never ever have thunk as well. It would go the whole way up to 150, especially because of some of the nuts I've tried cracking with the other guns. We're gonna deal with the DeWalt, 
see if that one works. Then we might know it might be the Ranger's fault. Two bars on a DeWalt impact gun, not an, an impact wrench. We got 150 torque, torques to 150. Let's see if it breaks it. It might have, the Javin might have done it faster. I mean, they, they both worked. I'm blaming the Ranger. You know what? You guys tell me. Did we do this test right? Did we do it wrong? I don't know what we're doing, but it was fun. And uh, since we're outside, we're gonna have a little bit more fun with some more outdoor testing. But before we do, we're gonna see how long the battery life is on this Javin 20 volt, two amp hour battery while running the drill. So we're gonna turn it on full high speed with a timer and videotape it. And we'll see, we can go get some other stuff done and we'll come back and check on it later. So I wanna test a little bit more of a real world scenario. Say you're a roofer or you're doing some framing or you're just on a roof, having a beer, getting away from the wife or whatever. Your impact driver falls off. We need to know if the Javin will survive. My roof's about 15 feet tall on the side here. We're gonna yeet it off for the kids and then we'll see if it uh, lands in the grass, if it breaks and then we'll try it on the pavement. God, I wish I had the bigger lap. I really don't like that buckle. Yeah. I'm at the max weight of the ladder. Turns out the ladder can't hold my weight. So we're just gonna act like it's tumbling off the roof and is gonna land on the ground. Javin, best of luck. I doubt this will do any. Grass test number one. Good luck, Javin. Yeah, I didn't think that would do anything. It's real mush out. Chuck that bastard back up here. Put the f***ing keys in your pocket. This channel's gonna turn into just, yeah. Can you? Hold on, hold on, I got it. Why can't you get it right here? I can't really turn, buddy. Thanks. She is muddy. Pavement test. Good luck. Oh, 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 no, dude. The arms of the that battery casing had absolutely no chance. It made a noise. All that broke was the casing. Oh, you know why? You know what the problem is? We pull that out, slide this back in to here. Terminals aren't touching because of how it broke. Oh, we're close. So like, oh! <laughs> I love it. It survived. <laughs> you guys, like John is such an idiot. <laughs> All right, uh, let's get some tape. I know that it survived a roof drop. The drill did definitely. The battery though, not so much. I do have one more drop test that I do think is very applicable to a lot of the viewers though that we want to try out. All right, real quick, before we go to the next test, let's go check in on the drill battery. We're at 2144. I just came in here to grab some batteries before we do this and it finally died. So I'm gonna go let John know we're completely out of battery. All right, I don't work a lot on job sites, but I know when I have, I'm always packing up in a hurry at the end. And uh, say you forget your impact driver on the back of your truck or your van or something, and you're heading down the highway and it just happens to fall off. Will it survive? We must answer it. So Sam, fire her up. Let's get squirrely. Let's go. Jab it! Oh shit. <laughs> it literally exploded! <laughs> and did the, did the drill break at all? The drill's fine, that battery just stood no chance, huh? Oh my goodness. Those battery cases, I don't know. Eh, just Some of the parts broke off. I guess we're gonna have to go get one of the other batteries and see if it survived. All right, we just got back from the truck. The drill finally ran out of battery at 21 minutes. I don't know if that's good or bad. And I blew up the other battery for this, but this does fit Makita batteries. So let's see, does she still work? <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't expect it not to work, but I also didn't know if the casing would hold up. We do have some damage here. You can see that there was a rubber ring on the front that fell off. We've got some gook in there, some scratches. Held up pretty decent, not gonna lie. A little bit surprised there. I've got one more test for it, so let's go get it. And for our last test, I wanted to emulate someone working on a muddy job site that might look just like this. And say you accidentally drop your precious Javin impact driver. 
and it happens to just fall into a bucket of mud with no battery in it. Oh, oh, so sad. Will it work? I hope it doesn't ruin this Makita battery. What are your thoughts? I'm gonna say it worked. <laughs> and that's gonna be a wrap on this one. The Javin, I think it outperformed all and everything we thought it could. You guys gotta let me know though, which brand should I torture test next? Ugh.